missed you so much. I can't wait to meet you. I've been thinking about you much lately. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older by the day, not even by the year. Maybe that's why I've been thinking about you so much lately. But this particular one, I want to talk to you about sex, our sexual life, how it's going to be. First of all, you have to, you have to worship my vagina. You see that my pussy, that flower that is down there, you have to worship it. See you. I'm not ready for all this quicky quicky bedroom sex that you just come back from work in the evening, go and eat and shower and then come and meet me and be like, ne me pay lu mia, ne papa tala mia kosi e, oh oh, ne na pay go lu mdo pa first, oh ne dago ri go lu mne nuki me go lu me fa. I'm not ready for all those ones. You have to worship my teeth. One of the things that will make me not to cheat on you, that will make me give you my undiluted love forever and ever, any day I am, even if I am not together with you, even if you travel, I will be looking for you, I will be missing you, just you alone is how much you worship my person. I have this very, 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 very unique, red um, pussy. You know, it looks so different from the usual pussies you've seen. I'm sure you must have strapped a lot. Calaba, Yoruba, Yipo, different tribes. But this one here that I'm keeping for you is very unique. Number one, you have to. I you have to give me all those soft kisses. Then you kiss me from back. If I'm lying face down, you kiss my kiss me on the nape of my neck. You kiss my you lick my ears, suckle it. You come down to the, you know, even if you want to turn it over and face you, you have to do it in a very delicate way, in a very, you know, erotic way, romantic way. Yes, I go. And then when you're done, you, you face these lips. Mm, this is my lips. You don't just kiss me and remove go. You have to give good 20 minutes to this my lips. When you're done, <laughs> You start, you see my, you see my, I have two of them, my breasts. You dare not suck this one and not suck this one. The, the same time you use in handling this one is the exact time you will use to handle this one. So when you are handling one, you should be calculating the time in your head. No cheating. They are twins. Are you getting them? You were conceived on the same day. So when you're done with that, you start going down, giving me, you know, Kissing my stomach, my nagle, lick it to eh, not just kissing. And then hmm, you get down to that place, you gently, you use your tongue, don't even use your hand to spread it. Too. You use your tongue, like when you put your tongue, use your tongue, do as if you're using your head, you know, to so shift one leg. Me, I ask one guy, you know, babe, my also, I will arrange this for you, the other one, you, then you will start fisting. You start to do worship, you get. Because every other thing you've been doing so far, as in every other thing you've been doing before you get down to that place, is what I call um, opening prayer, testimony, and all. When you get down to that place, oh baby, that is when the real worship will start. You will minister to it. You tell that pussy that pussy that it belongs to you, yours alone. You will suck me to the extent that any man I see. I will not even want, in fact, they will mean nothing to me. You will be the only man on earth that means everything to me. You use your tongue. I say, eh, I don't need you to start mm, pouring saliva and licking it like, like a hungry dog. Saliva or just, no. Something you do, you must swallow your spit soon. Make sure your mouth is very dry, very, very dry. Then you start. Eh? When you're done with the labia, you use your tongue. To separate both. When you're done, then you start to suck on. I don't, not the one you just be licking. Many people think the only way to suck pussy is when you do like this. No, this one is just, you're just teasing her. You've not started sucking. When you put your tongue and you're doing, you're just teasing the girl. You get. Don't do that thing to me. You can do it to me. You can just tease me for a while, for like some seconds. Then you will start. I don't need eh, your tongue to suck me. What I need is your mouth. You see the same way you put this mouth on my nipple and then suckle it. Mm, that is the exact way I would want you to put it. Use your mouth and pack all of them. Hey, into your mouth. I want to eat it. Yes. Do you know how you do you know how you hold a shawarma and you want to bite a bite of a shawarma? You know you hold it, you hold it like this. You hold the shawarma like this and then you put it inside now. That's like, that's how you put as you use your mouth to cover it. And then suck, dry it. Oh, man, I'm just giving you a spoon.
this is how you have to suck me. This, in fact, this is how you must suck me before the main penetration starts. Without this one, my guy, I don't think I will even be happy if you penetrate me. I will not really be happy. I don't care your penis size. Oh. I am not into big things when it comes to a man's package. I don't really like, I don't care if your dick is big. I don't even want your dick to be big. That's just the normal average. But use your tongue eh, to make up for where you are lacking on that side. Do you understand? So when you're done, hey, hey, I'll be accept your offering in good faith. I will accept your offering with both hands. Me, I'm not a pretender. I'm not all these pretentious people that will come go to my post and be commenting, give your life to Christ. One day you know this. But I, me, I, I say it as it is. The thing made the hungry me. I ain't able to talk. So my darling future husband, I cannot wait to meet you. I am ready. As in, I am right. Acha gum, acha tosi gum, eh? Acha gum go go. If you man balance go, or set go, in a bata that you, you have to go. In my nature, I don't want to mention the name so that they won't sound corrupt. I don't like saying bad things with this my holy mouth.